Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Mario Kart. This is Mario Kart is coming at you guys with another video um, for WWE Fastlane tonight, 2017 main event for Raw. And uh, what's this? Is basically, really all my thoughts and my prediction. I, I think it's gonna happen. All right, but I'm gonna take you guys back. What? I'm gonna take you guys back in February. In February 2017, uh, 25th on Raw. And what happened? See, what happened was Kevin Owens, I mean, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens were best friends, supposedly best friends on Raw. You know, Chris Jericho always had Kevin Owens' back. Um, sometimes I don't know what was going through Kevin Owens' mind. Like, sometimes when Jericho got in trouble, mainly when Jericho got in trouble, Owens, like, really wasn't there as much as Jericho was there for Kevin Owens. So, but you know, yeah, that's all good stuff and everything until what happened that on that particular date or, that I just mentioned, February, February uh, 25th, you know, 2017, um, Kevin Owens felt like the need to viciously, brutally attack Chris Jericho for whatever reason. I really don't know why, like, maybe he was unsatisfied with the friends, friendship fest. I guess, you know, I don't know. They didn't meet up to his standards. I don't know what it was. I don't really know what got into Kevin Owens, you know. But he re he beat the hell out of Chris Jericho. Like, so now, I guess you all know what happens when you when you turn on. So, I guess you guys, all you guys know what happens when you turn on your friends. That's called betrayal, you know. Now look, now look at the shit that Kevin Owens Kevin Owens is in right now. He has to face Goldberg tonight for the WWE Universal Championship all by himself. And whose fault is that? That's Kevin Owens' fault. If you hadn't attacked, if KO hadn't attacked Chris Jericho, yeah, Jericho would be on your side. He would be on his side right about now, tonight. But no. You want to attack, he chose to attack, he chose to attack Chris Jericho, so now look at you, man, you're in some deep shit, Owens is in some deep shit right about now, like, cause Goldberg ain't gonna play with you, Goldberg, Goldberg is the guy that's not gonna have any fucking mercy on you, uh, he don't really care who you are, <clears throat> saw what he did, you saw what he did to Brock Lesnar, you saw what he did to Brock Lesnar, and uh, at Survivor Series 2016, saw what he did. He came in there. Brock came in there all hyped up, jumping around. Many people made excuses for Brock, saying he was not 100%. That's a damn lie. Brock Lesnar was at 100%. If he could jump on the ropes and jump around, you know, yeah, you're at that saying you're really at 100%. Goldberg didn't do none of that. Goldberg just came in the ring all normal fight and everything. Um... Brock tried to establish dominance early, you know, he thought he was going to get Goldberg, that was, that was all he was really going to do, you know, that's all Brock would do, and but Goldberg was in the corner, so Goldberg just shoved him, Goldberg dropped Lesnar, then he hit him with two spears, after, after the first spear, Brock Lesnar was clearly hurt, you know, I already, even I knew he was clearly hurt, he was done, there wasn't Brock Lesnar, there wasn't nothing he could do, after the second one, he was, he was gone. When he had that jackhammer on him, that was just embarrassing. But anyway, I loved it, you know, because I, I, I've been watching Goldberg ever since I was littler. And I've been watching him since he came into WWE, you know. We're talking about, you're looking at Goldberg, the best damn, the best damn guy that WCW has ever seen, you know. Goldberg's the greatest, in my opinion, Goldberg was the greatest in WCW history. He's the greatest champion in WCW history. All right. So what it all really boils down to now is like, I hope Kevin Owens, I hope Kevin Owens is ready tonight. Hope he's ready. Because Goldberg is not gonna play with him. No. Goldberg ain't gonna play with you. It's not. Kevin Owens is going to be just like how Brock Lesnar was. 
It's going to be just like how Brock Lesnar was. People are going to make excuses for him, saying that Kevin Owens wasn't 100%. No. Tonight, I hope he's one, I hope he's 100% tonight. I, hope, I really hope so. Because nobody... You shouldn't make excuses. Like, you get your ass beat, you lost fair and square. Like, I already know Goldberg going to win that match. Like, I mean, I don't know for sure. I'm telling you now, he's going to win the match. Kevin Owens, you ain't got no chance. Kevin Owens ain't got no chance. You blew your shot. You even tell you how you blew your shot? It's because of what you did to your supposedly best friend, Chris Jericho. You put the man, basically, you put the man on crutches. You put the man on crutches. Your best friend on crutches. So, tonight, it's going to be a different story. No help, no nothing. No Jericho, nobody to interfere. Nobody. It's just you and Goldberg. That's it. Like, <laughs> it's just you. It's just you and him. Goldberg challenge you to a match tonight at WWE Fastlane 2017 for that Universal Championship. So you can really kiss it goodbye. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say for this video for now. You know, see what happens. I'll, we'll all the whole world will see what happens tonight. Um, yeah, that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions, what I thought about the situation and of the big of the big match tonight. Kevin Owens versus Goldberg. Fastlane WWE Fastlane 2017. I just wanted to share them, share my thoughts with you guys. Let me know. How this video worked out for you? Let me know. Talk to me. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.